How you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Fly Away by Lenny Kravitz. This is a really good fun song to learn. I'm going to look at it a few different ways of playing it as well. We're going to do a beginner's version just using real basic power chords. We're going to do an intermediate version where we've got kind of a full bar chord grip, not that we're playing all the chords all the time and a few embellishments. That's quite fun. And I'm going to take you through that little bass part as well, uh, which you can use an octave pedal for if you've got one. Uh, otherwise you can just use it. You need to do something there in the verses and it probably doesn't want to be the heavy uh, power chord thing. So uh, that's like a fun part to go underneath the vocals. So uh, let's get to a close-up and check out how to play it. Okay, so we're starting off with this kind of pretty easy power chord version. Good one for beginners, this one. So uh, we're starting off with an A power chord. Okay, so this is the sixth string root at the fifth fret, first finger, fifth fret, thicker string, third finger and fourth finger going down in the seventh fret on the fifth and fourth strings. What you really want to make sure is that the underneath of your first finger there is muting those thinnest three strings. Okay, so you're going to have note, 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 and then the thinnest three strings are going to be muted. Even if you're not playing them and not picking them, you want to make sure they're muted all the time anyway. So that's the A. We've got a little kind of muted transition hit that happens as well. So as you're moving from A to the B, you're going to hit a mute. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, and this one is a B power chord. This is just two frets higher than the A. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Then we're going to go down here on the B and slide it up to the C. There's a few different ways of approaching this, but you want to do that to start off with. So it's down, slide, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that first two bars again. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. Again, one, two, and three, and four. One and two and three and four, then down to G, third fret down here now, third fret thicker string, still the same shape. One, two and three and four, and then move up to D. Now the D power chord, fifth string root, but really make sure that first finger is touching the thicker string to mute it. You re it's really, really important if you're doing a fifth string root power chord that the tip of the first finger mutes the thicker string, okay? Just in case you're picking it a bit sloppy and you accidentally hit that string, okay? Otherwise the shape's the same. So there's A, there's D, but just making sure first finger is pressing up, muting the thicker string and muting the thinnest two strings as well. And this will be one, two, and three, and four, okay? Here we go, the whole thing. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. One, 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 and two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. To give you a quick look at the picking as well, just to make sure that you got that right. So we're starting off with a down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, slide, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, one, two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one. One, two, and three, and... 
See the way that the strumming hand keeps moving all the time, it's a really big deal. Now you can let some of those little muted hits in if you want or choose not to, it's really up to you. The main thing that you're after, keeping the hand moving so your rhythm is solid. And making sure that if you do hit these extra strings, sorry, I thought I was missing a string now, I was just playing the note that was on the third string from the D chord, but make sure those thinner strings Nice and muted, that's really, really important that if you accidentally hit those strings that no notes come out. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, actual kind of official as played by Lenny Kravitz kind of a version now. So rather than just power chords, it's actually full bar chords. So if we start with our A power chord and put our second finger down the sixth fret of the third string there, uh, and we put the rest of the bar down as well, we end up with an A major chord, okay? Now this chord uh, is not played all the way through, so you're probably not going to play the thinnest t strings too much. You want to hold them down, but you, you're mainly going to be strumming on the thicker strings. So really that's kind of the highest note. Those other ones sneak through a little bit, but uh, the strumming pattern is the same. So one, two, and three, and you've still got that muted up hit there. So it's just as the chord's transitioning, you want to be holding the chord, keeping the chord shape but nice and loose so you get that click. One, two and three and four. Now I always thought it was with a little slide and I've taught it that way for years but I'm just listening to it right before doing this lesson and now I think it's a hammer-on where he's just playing the bar and then hammering the rest of the chords down. Significantly harder so I don't recommend it for beginners still but I think that's what's going on on the original recording so one two and three and four, one and two and three and, so just playing and then hammering that whole chord shape in front of the bar. Stay down to G again, major. Now on the D, instead of playing a regular D power chord, you want to use your third finger to create a little mini bar, so this is an A-shaped bar chord, okay? This is definitely kind of in the realms of intermediate guitar now, okay? To be playing that, so we want to play this note, but we want to make sure we're not playing the thinnest string, okay? Third finger needs to be lifting up far enough to mute the thinnest string. Now once you've got that chord, little finger's going to hammer on down here at the eighth fret of the second string at the end. One, two, and three, and it's just a little hammer, and it's kind of, it's quite quiet on the record, it's not dominant, that note. But it's definitely there, you can hear it. So you end up with this. I should point out here that the strumming stays the same, even though we're doing the slightly more fancy version, so we've still got down, down, up, down, up, down, down, hammer, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, yeah, I'm not doing it up there, I'm just doing the hammer on. Let's have a little look at the bass part now. I'm just going to play it for you uh, without any sort of funny octave effects or anything like that. It would be this. One and two and three, four. 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 And, three, four. and it's using an octave shape. Okay, so if you think of that first A power chord, the big, very beginner version we did, or, that, or actually the full bar chord, the note under the first finger on the thicker string and the, where the little finger was, they're both the note A. And we're starting from one fret below the note A on the thickest one, sliding up one fret, and then playing the octave. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two. Okay, that's the motion. 
But it was also important, I'm putting a few little clicks in there. This is the riff, but if you want to add in some extra little clicks with your pick, that's totally fine. But the main deal here is playing that riff and following it around. That's the A, now we move it to C. Okay, going from the 7th fret up to the 8th fret, then the octave, then down to the G, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, then the octave, 4th fret sliding up to 5th fret, and the octave. 1 and 2 and 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3, 4, 1, 2, Okay, so what's going on with the picking hand if I just shuffle myself over a little bit? I'm still thinking one and two and three and four and. And it's kind of falling on four and most of the time. One and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and two and three, four and one and two. What sounds really cool is putting this lower octave on it. So I'm just going to reach over to my... Now all I've done is put on a low octave. So instead of now playing a regular A, sounds an octave lower, so much more like a bass part. Okay, there's lots of different octave pedals that you can get. I happen to be using now a Kemper profiling amplifier which has a pitch shifter in it, but you can get pedals as well. In fact, a lot of my favorite uh, octave pedals are the electro harmonics ones. I use one called a Pog quite a lot, so you might want to check that out. But you can hear, as soon as I play exactly the same thing now, And so you can see I'm kind of keeping my hand still moving in this one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one two. And just having those little muted notes sounds helps keep it kind of locked in. If I take them away. It's definitely not kind of happening in the same way. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun playing through this tune. It's a really good one and it's a grower again. You can start with just a real simple kind of beginner one, really making sure that you get your power chords sounding good and the right strings muted. Then you can add in the, the full bar chord, which is another level of difficulty, and then trying to get the little bass thing with those muted notes as well. There's lots of stuff going on in this song that makes it a really good fun one to play. Great one for a band as well, so if you've got a band going on, whole band can really lock in there on a nice solid groove. A lot of fun to play this one. Played it in bands many, many times. Uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it and I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.